Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the storyline, as I said earlier in my map change video. And also, we're going to be talking further about some of the leaked skins. Don't forget, if you are purchasing any new skins that are coming to the item shop, and there are some really, really awesome ones, don't forget to use that code Postbox Pat in there. It really does help me out and support the channel. We roughly have about 1,500, a little bit less, supporting me in the Fortnite item shop. But also, you guys smashed it with the new Battle Breakers DLC, which has come out, or kind of skin, which is obviously the Rust Law. And you guys can go and cop that in Battle Breakers. That is again another free game owned by Epic Games where you can support me over there. All this support does help me out and it gives me small, small amounts helping me save up for my brand new PC, which is a long grind, but it's worth it. So we're going to keep going at it and getting you guys to support me as much as we can. So thank you everyone who is supporting me. It really does help the channel out and help me grow as much as possible. Also, you can use code Postbox on any Epic Games store in Battle Breakers. That's why I said you can go and download that. It's free. You can go and play any Epic Games game on their Epic Games store and use code PostboxPat in that shop when purchasing it on your Epic Games store and it will help support me out in some way or form. So thank you so much. I'm an Epic Games partner. So much love and respect. Hashtag Epic Games partner. Okay, with that over and said, obviously I want to talk a little bit further about some of the skins and that. I just wanted to say that because obviously there's going to be a lot of leaked skins in today's video and that's why I thought I'd give it an honorable mention just so you guys can understand exactly how to support me further if you want to. So we've got a bunch of stuff with the actual leak skins entirely and the first screen i want to show you guys is a bunch of stuff right here we've got obviously a wide range of selection of skins here we can see that these are a bunch of the leaked skins coming into the game very very soon obviously don't consider the star wars ones but we've got that one up there all right and a bunch of other ones uh, some of these names i may read wrong because it's my first time looking at them but ah oh, well it's funny isn't it <laughs> so we've got jelly there as well metal mouth uh, zaddy and then we've got complex irish bull shark Swift, Gan, Tigerless, Jade Racer, Clash, Snow Striker, and a bunch of other these different versions of these chill out striker ones as well. We feel like they're more of like a snow theme skin, which I'm pretty excited about. I think that itself will be very interesting for all of us. Two good skins to mention right here, which will probably be worth a cop. I think I'll definitely get one of them. Will either be Metal Mouth or Zan. Is it Zaddy, maybe? Or Zaddy? I don't know how, if I'm saying it right or wrong, but that skin right there, both of them are using the Alter logo on them. So what that means is obviously it's going to be a part of the storyline, and that's what we're going to get to in a minute later on after we've gone through a few of these skins. The biggest skin they're releasing tonight will be the Ninja skin. It is 100% confirmed to pop into the item shop. It's been posted by Fortnite themselves. So that is very exciting stuff, and I think a lot of people are very, very excited for Ninja to be one of the icon skins in the item shop. And not only are we getting in ninja we're also going to be getting loser fruit and another youtuber as well i can't remember the name of them so we're going to be getting a few of them i think it may be one of the spanish youtubers so that's really really cool so we're going to be getting a few different kind of skins in the icon section it's mad really to think about it i don't know how you actually gain access to become an icon skin but congratulations to ninja and loser fruit the ones who have been selected for that i'd love that to happen to me but i don't think it would ever imagine my skin being like a variant of fun cops there's like an icon variant it'd be crazy probably not Never happen but it'd be cool and it's just something that I just, it's a dream <laughs> we can just keep dreaming guys but yeah so that being said obviously i wanted to talk a little bit further about some of the variations we've obviously got the ninja thing if you're copying that don't forget to support me if you'd like to because post box pat you don't have to but thank you everyone who is considering that we also have a few other skins which have been obviously rumored as well to appear they're not exactly rumored basically confirmed and these are some chinese new year skins which are obviously going to be super super hype and they're in that middle section there which i thought i'd just give another honorable mention because they're pretty cool you can see them across the middle and they're pretty cool so thank you to all the leakers who have been providing us with all the skins obviously that's like tigerless gun and there's rumors that they may actually be free regarding challenges or they could actually be a save the world variant i'm not too sure sometimes leakers do get skins mixed up with battle royale and save the world skins so do consider that being something but yeah it's crazy to think that the ninja skin is popping into the item shop tonight if you are purchasing it code postbox pack if you'd like to support me okay so with that being said we've obviously got the storyline to be discussed so the variants this is where the storyline really kicks in i think this variant is probably the best variant of any skin i've ever seen and that is the ripley variant it's actually a challenge currently in fortnite battle royale and it gives you the purple skin an extra style option for ripley but it's the purple which i want to focus in on in today's video we've obviously got a few other things as well to mention regarding that kind of purple vibe it's quite obvious that when you mix red and blue together what color does it make purple 
And that's obviously how Ripley's been formed here. Has he been fused together by Chaos Agent here? We're not 100% sure. You can see on this Ripley version, his logo on his leg is still the Ego logo, which is interesting. When you look at the Alter Ego version of him, the Sludge version, he has the Alter logo on his leg, kind of like drawn on. So I think definitely considering that the logo hasn't been changed and his face is much more happier than the Sludge version, not an evil face, I do maybe think that the fusion could have gone wrong or generally he has turned a maybe an evil sludge into him or i'm just looking into this too far but it's not only him we also have one for eight ball as well so eight ball himself has got a gold variant again but with an ego logo put on this i definitely think fortnite are really really trying to hammer to us or let us know that we are 100 kind of getting into this storyline with the versus versus alter and ego it's definitely something and i think that is what they're trying to kind of push to us right now as we lead up to the event which leak files will eventually come out in 14 days from now when we receive the next update i know it's a little bit of time but obviously we're very excited and there could even be some map changes throughout the entire week because obviously i talked about in my map change video two locations which had render issues which usually means there's going to be map changes there so stay tuned for them on the channel but like i'm saying with eight ball i do definitely think that this skin could be something big for that fortnite storyline because it is obviously a gold variant and it may not actually have any impact on it at all but sometimes these variants and stuff they do kind of sometimes mean something or indicate to us that we should be focusing on these skins more than we think then obviously we have the remedy versus toxic one this one got released a while ago but that has got a completely different interesting logo on which some people are relating to the cube event when you turn it i think it was upside down where it was actually floating around it's a very good comparison but personally i don't know if i believe that because of the logo on her chest and her hat so we'll have to just wait and see if that is the case with her but pretty exciting stuff and definitely we are very excited for the upcoming variations but not only that guys we also have a few different variations as well you can see on here we obviously have the chick variation as well this one is going to be a gold version of her i don't think this is in the game yet and this may be our upcoming challenges that you can see here which potentially is going to be in 15 days that might be chick it might not we're not too sure if it's going to be the yellow variation of her you can also get the purple sludge hammer which is just awesome that purple variation has got to be my favorite skin from the battle pass this season in my opinion of obviously ripley and then we do have the metal mouth variations as well we can see here from lucas you've got obviously the arctic one the jungle and obviously the female version of the jungle and arctic so really nice stuff right there and we've got the guanyu variant as well which is really awesome a dragon variant for him there which is obviously going to be celebrating the chinese new year which is super 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 hype i am very excited for that skin i used to love Guan Yu from smite so i am considering maybe purchasing that closer to the time when it comes into the item shop. I don't think it's been in in a while. Obviously, it will be probably be in around the Chinese New Year, but we'll have to wait and see on that side of stuff. It's going to be a few free items as well. There's rumors that the Chinese items could potentially be free, and also that backboard there for the overtime challenges. Now, we're yet to receive the overtime challenges. I've not received them yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming very, very soon. There are rumors that the season has now been extended to mid-February. I've had a few dates sent towards me, so I I cannot confirm a date on it but there are all sorts of rumors on the season date but it can be changed at any the season end date can be changed at any point now one thing to discuss is the event this season which i wanted to go into a little bit further with the actual kind of purple skins it's quite clear that they're pointing at us or pointing at these skins for us to realize that you know there's something big happening with this storyline now, what could that big thing actually be? Well, it's kind of making sense. With the Alter versus Ego, and now we have this purple variation, this could be something to do with the fusion going completely wrong, or something to do with, obviously, the leader, Chaos Agent, who's been, obviously, with the fusion skin, messing with different skins. We see it with the Serana variant, which is a standout style of an actual variant two skins put together to create one and we also see it with the leak skin a while ago you guys know which one i mean it's the one with the kind of like spider man type vibe with the really big head you know what i'm on about but we've seen all these skins having different variations so we're definitely at a point now where maybe this could be something to do with this purple type substance and what could that be the cube is chaos asian or is even ego using the cube now to maybe fight back against chaos agent 
Or Chaos Agent has took the power to the next level and he is starting to gain even more control on the map. The storyline is definitely working up for a massive event which is coming very, very soon. I'm going to make a separate storyline video for you guys soon because I've actually paid for some concept art who I was very impressed with. He produces amazing concept art and I really wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to keep it a little secret for now but I'll be showing it you guys very, very soon. Something that I've really wanted to have done and I know a lot of other YouTubers, they pay for thumbnails and stuff. So I thought, you know, they this guy creates thumbnails for top creators. So I thought I may as well get him to create me some amazing concept art for you guys and myself, which we can use and have a look at and kind of evaluate it and talk a little bit further about some theories regarding that concept art. So that'll be coming soon in the video as well for you guys. I know you'll probably be excited for that. That's going to be part of the storyline video, which will be up soon. The next one, obviously the next few steps. Let me know your theories in the comment section down below though. The storyline is definitely getting bigger and bigger. And I'm very excited to see where Fortnite are going to take us for that season two. I do personally believe that the event this season has been spent a very, very long time in development because obviously we've seen the staff take a decent break, but they haven't really been providing us with much updates, much things going on. Now, it's quite clear that some of the developers may have moved over to Battle Breakers. Some people haven't really been coming up with the theory of that actually being the case but maybe Battle Breakers has its an entire separate team. You could easily look into this by looking into the credits of the game. It's quite easy to tell who the developers are when you do that, but you know, I've not really had time to look through and kind of evaluate, is he developing that game, is he? It's kind of a long process. So I thought I'll leave that and just come up with a few predictions saying that, you know, the team may have been working on Battle Breakers for a bit, but they think there is definitely still that development team behind Fortnite, releasing something very, very big. So I said on my Discord today, I was talking a little bit about how Fortnite are working on something completely different. Now, it's not confirmed or anything. But I did ask the question at E3 to Donald Mustard about what happens if you make like a free roam or something completely different from Battle Royale Creative Save the World? There's lots of room for it in Fortnite. And he kind of just smiled and went, he didn't really say much. He kind of just smiled and went, it's a good idea and we're definitely thinking of expanding or something. I can't remember his exact words, but it was, it was definitely a big smile and he was pretty hyped about it and obviously we've seen that we've saved the world we've seen it with creative we've seen it with battle royale there's clearly room for fortnite to attach itself to a free roam universe another universe and maybe guys just maybe that's what they're working on for the summer around e3 and he announced it e3 a week later it comes out that would be just insane i think they would be daft not to create another universe with the fortnite characters and your skins and your profile because having access to all that stuff would be cool Obviously, Save the World is in a little bit of a bad place and I want to make a video for you guys talking about how I love Frost Knight so much and how that could potentially save Save the World, that style of LTM. I'll make a separate video on that. But Save the World is very glitchy at the minute. There's a lot of duplication stuff. There's so many fake scam videos out there. The whole Save the World community on YouTube is very, very small with the actual real community and the actual fake community is so big. A little bit like the Fortnite community around Christmas time, actually, guys, if you remember, with the present videos and all that sort of stuff. Wow, them clip baiters. It's so bad and so poor. And what really makes me sad about that sort of stuff is they do get a lot of subscribers and followers from it and people just don't realize. Now, I've seen many channels do that and then switch their content up to something else and people just don't realize and they're still watching it not realizing that they were tricked originally there was even one the other day where some guy has 17,000 people watching his live stream which was clearly fake because the comment section was very very quiet and then he was asking people to donate don't do this by the way guys if someone's asking you to donate to get a custom matchmaking code for like a fashion show or a chance of getting gifted a skin he just kept saying that and i saw people donate ten dollars thirty dollars five dollars and the guy didn't gift anything he just kept repeating it subscribe now we'll host the game soon and all this nonsense be careful let as many people as you know don't trust someone you've just clicked on their stream you've got to get to know them a creator like me for example if you're watching this part of the video now you are a true fan come and join on my discord come and talk to me tweet me at postbox pat let me know and in the comment section down below by comment in gold eight ball thank you so much for making it right to the end of the video i really do appreciate all the fans that have made it right to this part in the video you are a true fan of the channel and someone that should stay around and get in touch with me on Discord, on Twitter, in the comments with that 8-ball thing. It's really awesome. Gold 8-ball. Comment it down below. It really means a lot to me, the true fans of the channel. So thank you so much for watching the entire video today. Much love and respect. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And once again, smash a like. Let's try and get 2,000 likes. And this is Postbox Pat, signing out.